in case you're wondering about the slide and stuff at the moment, I, I got annoyed because people were doing, there was a thing about someone saying, oh, well, there's no women um, role models. And I was, I, I, just, I just spent five minutes on the internet looking at them, just like rolling off woman after woman after woman who doing amazing things in computer science. And it was ridiculous. Uh, everybody in this room probably has a mobile phone. And I can almost guarantee everybody in this room is running a mobile phone with a processor in it that this woman, inv this woman invented. Um, you know, it's loads of these people are around. Uh, and to actually sit up, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> to sit and design something completely new. And to do that in only 18 months, this is, the, this is everything about the processor, and to deliver it on time, and for it to work first time. I probably should have been making that sound amazing. It sounds like I can't make things work first time. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's amazing. It really is. Uh, I was also spurred by um, comments about one of the Drupal events where there wasn't a single female speaker and the general comment was, yeah. but there aren't any women in Drupal. <laughs> so we so, were starting to, to discuss on whether we could actually start every session with a slide of one woman and then to follow and check or yeah. three slides even. I, I, I originally said three, but I, I'm sorry, I don't worry, I've only got one. <laughs> I forgot all about it and I had to do it quickly before this well, meeting. Why the other two are like? I don't know. I picked different ones. That's the whole point. Yeah? Okay. So, anyway, I better start. So, thank you for coming. Oh, sugar. Oh. Okay, I'm Rachel. I'm a freelance web developer doing Drupal these days. But I've come from, I've never worked for an agency, actually. Um, I came from big pharmaceutical, well, reasonably big pharmaceutical company before I, before I started doing Drupal. And uh, in my history I've done teaching and I've, I've worked for a defence company doing crazy stuff down in London, which is kind of fun. Uh, I'm based at the Ministry of Defence headquarters, which is kind of hilarious getting escorted everywhere until my security clearance came through. Uh, and I get involved in, and this is a picture, the backdrop is a picture from when we were doing the core mentor sprint in Dublin. Uh, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'll come back to more of that in, the pa in a minute. Um, so a little bit more about me. Just a little bit, of, sort of, a little story about me. I can't run. I really, well, I used to think that. Um, I went, I decided I was going to try running a year ago. Well, just over a year ago, so I went to the park run. I don't know if anybody's heard of the park run. It's like 5K run all over the country. Quite a few other countries as well now. And I think I stopped about four times on the way around. <laughs> Just because I just couldn't do it. Uh, but I met some people there that I know through other, other things that I do. And these two lovely ladies uh, invited me to come to their little non-competitive running club. And said yes. And they inspired me to really, really put the effort in. They encouraged me. They were honest with me <laughs> about a few things I need to change. They kind of guided me, mentored me for want of a better description. Uh, and I'm not here tomorrow because I'm doing the Cambridge Half Marathon. Uh, and I'm hoping to get a reasonable time too. Well, for me anyway. It's my first one. Uh, so I'm doing it for cancer research. But I'll stick that up at the end. And she had what the doors. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so what's with that story? I kind of mentioned a few things there around mentoring and basically turning me from someone who couldn't do something 
into someone who can do something. And that is a challenge for all agencies, every, uh, agencies, com so Drupal related companies worldwide. How do we get people who can bring along the rest of the staff, who can, who can provide that leadership? So I've been, um, I've been sending out questionnaires and stuff to various sort of companies and bits and pieces over the last couple of months, trying to get some idea about how they go about actually getting their senior employees. Where are they getting these people from? <coughs> and asking various questions. Uh, and the difficulties they have filling those roles. And I didn't say any more than senior roles. That was the only term I used. Uh, these are some of the examples of things that were coming back from them. Uh, <laughs> I was amused by the term, there was a massive shortage of decent talent. I was like, ow, that hurts. <laughs> but, uh, it, 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 it's, you know, there is a shortage of big Drupal people, you know, to, to basically hit the ground running. But not only be good, but help the rest of the people in that company be good. Because uh, that's what you need. Um, Everybody hates recruitment agencies, it's hilarious. So there was all those kind of quotes, but one of the things that really came up over and over again, that's okay, you can pay double, uh, <laughs> was the term leadership and looking for leaders within their business. Um, and it made me think about when I was at NAP Pharmaceuticals, which is the company I used to work for in pharma. What makes a leader? Because when you've got the size, when you've got like a thousand people or a couple of thousand employees, you can spend the effort and you've got the resources to spend time on growing your own leaders within your company. Um, you've got that time to do that. If you've got 10 people in your, in your web agency, or 20 people, or 30, that's harder. That's really hard. Okay? And then you've got me thinking, well, what makes a leader? Now, all of the things I'm going to talk about today are pretty much taken from the things I learnt at NAP down in Cambridge. Um, so, they had a leadership program, I think they called it. Um, and in fact, I actually had to... To, to, to remind me of some of this stuff that I'm going to put up here, I had to uh, call up somebody I used to work with, chase him up and get him to send me some of the documents because I couldn't find them anymore. Uh, not working there. They had different aspects of leadership, and I'm going to come on to some of these a bit later and how they apply within our, within our industry. But, oh, the camera. Uh, some things here about intellectual capacity. You might have various ideas of what that means already. So they broke it down into these areas. Um, and there's some more as well. So there's all these different aspects. If you really want somebody to be a leader within your business, yeah, someone to actually take your new staff, your new people who are new to Drupal, who are new to development, who are new to all those things, and help them grow, yeah? How are you going to manage that so that they become the next leader in your company? Because that's cheaper <laughs> than trying to get it externally. You can grow them yourselves, and you can make the most of that. Getting them externally is expensive and hard and guesswork, okay? Okay, so... We've said there's those aspects and the, the things that you need to be able to do so that you've got great people, but you've got your small company, you're never going to get the chance. You're not going to be able to do it very easily as it is. Okay? You can do best efforts, etc. But there are parts of the community that help and really help. Okay? It might be that you can use the rest of the community to let these people practice and learn things. Okay? 
um, you can spend time, give them the opportunity to work with people through mentoring, core contribution, and so on. And it gives them the chance to go and use and practice and learn the skills that make them great leaders. Okay? Uh, so going back to some of those things that we were talking about then, if we think about people coming along and acting and giving them the opportunity to get involved in mentoring, okay, uh, other people within the community use their skills, all there. I said about intellectual capacity earlier on, and that's more than just how do I do PHP? This is actually a wider thing than that. So this is things like, have they got the organisational savvy, the organisational understanding of Drupal to uh, the Drupal community and the way Drupal works to be able to put people in the right connections? So we're talking here, do they know people? Can they understand how to take a problem that they are having and get other people to understand the problem that they're having and to then get them involved in helping and doing the thing. And being able to say, ah, to solve this, I need these three people to work together and being able to arrange that. That's, that's, that's organisational savvy. That being able to have that strategic insight, being able to see the whole of your business and therefore an example of that would be to see the whole of the Drupal community and being able to see how that works together. Yeah? They learn that through talking to other people. You need them to talk outside of a small little group within your company, within your agency. You need them to talk wider. And the best way they're going to do that is by being involved in things like mentoring and contribution. Uh, Drive is, well, you kind of know what drive is. People who get results hold themselves accountable. Yeah? And that's a great thing. If people are actually getting involved in project led initiatives within uh, Drupal, in actually in the community rather than just doing their work as well, give them that opportunity to get involved in things that are going on, initiatives. Yeah? Uh, give them that chance to do that. Help them grow and become the leaders that you want within your business. Really wish I got one of those clicker things now. Uh, <laughs> honestly, it was an interesting one. Uh, being able to communicate openly. Uh, can't really get much more open than the issue too. It really is open on sometimes. Uh, and honest. Uh, but it's also... How you behave within things like the issue queue is really important. And you can see the people who are mentoring others uh, and are the leaders, you know, the leaders in the Drupal community because of how they actually write things in the issue queue. Yeah, they don't rant. But they're also capable of breaking honest news, you know, telling people hard news. It has to be done. <laughs> I know Jess has just broken all your patches today. Uh, because <laughs> because uh, we're changing how arrays are written in the coding standards. So that's hard news. That means a lot of people are going to have to go away and do work. Yeah? Which has been pretty straight, straightforward about it. And I'm honest in getting on. So it matters how we do that type of stuff. Respect, respect goes both ways. You need to learn to respect people you're working with, as well as just sort of demanding it. Being able to actually deliver on things you promise is part of respect. It's actually saying, if I'm going to say this, I need to deliver it to you because you're hanging on it. Yeah? Quite often. Um, also, something that has to take place within the Drupal community uh, on a fairly regular basis and also within businesses as well and I've got it written down here because I want to get the words right 
makes appropriate decisions even when it makes them unpopular with others can sometimes be a difficult thing to learn. Yeah? It's not something that's easy to do when you've only got a very small business. But it has to happen. It's something that people need to get good at doing. Give them the opportunity. Very much do give them the opportunity to do that and to learn those things in the community. Getting people involved in the community and especially in helping with the men mentoring um, program, if you like. Um, is a way that people can do that. Cool. I, I almost like I probably don't need to explain innovation because it's what we do all the time. But being able to get up there and do it is a, is, is a big deal. It's it, it's important, and it's also another another thing to think about this. Is, or why to think about this is innovation is something that you need to be prepared for as well. So, in the Drupal community, something like Drupal 8 and the way that things have changed a lot, yeah? Things have changed a lot between Drupal 7 and 8. And being able to deal with and to embrace change is a great leadership skill that you need to give people the opportunity to kind of learn. Uh, change in a natural way is quite scary for many people. Um, and you have to learn to deal with how you do that. It changes, you know, it's something that is inevitable, but how you deal with it is a, is a big deal. Uh, give people the opportunity outside of the things that you do in your business to get on with that type of stuff. <laughs> passion. There's plenty of people within the Drupal community that certainly have passion. Uh, demonstrating energy and enthusiasm. But it's also as aspiring to develop and enhance your own performance and the performance of others as well. The actual want and need to be better is part of this. Yeah? And it's also being that the want and need to bring that out in others matters. Um, and the people skills, if you're in a very small company, uh, and I, I did mean to ask sort of general sizes here before I started, but I forgot, then sometimes it can be very hard for people to, to learn that type of stuff. Yeah? They can sit in the corner and not really get involved in decisions. Uh, and have to do that brokering that needs to take place um, in a wider group to actually achieve that. Being, giving them the chance to get, seriously get involved in things in the, in the Drupal community, contributing and mentoring, mentoring particularly, is um, a way that they can practice those things. Sometimes they'll get it wrong, sometimes they'll get it right, and hopefully they'll learn over time. But they've got to get, they, it'll never happen if they don't have the opportunity to practice. Uh, it's something that we are, as a group of people within the contribution, contribution area, getting better at slowly. Um, and it's something that I think those of us that get chance to be involved outside of the uh, small agency type thing uh, get more chance to do. Uh, and I, I think I very much want to encourage people to do it. So there's all those things that Drupal can give you, know, the Drupal community and getting people involved in mentoring and so on can give you. But kind of, we need people to start. We need people to take the opportunity and see contribution and particularly mentoring as not something that... A co who's, a, who's a company owner here? Anybody? Yeah? I imagine so, uh, quite a lot of company, own, company owners, when we talk about Drupal contribution, we talk about code sprints, and we talk about um, that type of thing, think of it as something that they're giving back to Drupal. Like it's a duty, shall we say. 
I very much see it the other way around. I very much see it as something that the Drupal community is giving back to the companies because it's giving them chance to get together like this was taken in uh, Dublin as well. This, this is the group of uh, people who volunteered to help out as mentors uh, on the Friday core mentored sprint in uh, Dublin um, and work really hard. They were a fantastic group of people. Uh, and the thing is, they, they thought they were going and giving something, but the reality was they were getting so much more back. What they were getting back was working with those teams that they did, working with uh, uh, people they'd never met before. They were making connections, you know, professional connections. They were uh, being seen visibly as someone who kind of knows something about Drupal. It's important things. So they got back, and the companies they worked for, yeah, there's a few people there that work for, di work for different companies, um, were getting something back as well, because they were getting back bigger people than they went away. Yeah? Now, I particularly bring in Friday up because one of the hardest things I, I myself, where's Morris? It's, we were kind of working as a couple of the sprint leads on the Friday. Well, all week, actually. And it's quite frustrating that we, we've got the opportunity on the Fridays at DrupalCon to do the mentored course sprint where there will be people who are coming to get involved in the community for the first time. And we have this opportunity to do so much more, so much with them. The hardest thing is having those people to mentor them, to take them on, is so many companies are booking flights for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of DrupalCon, yeah, just for the sessions. And I can absolutely tell you now, the biggest part, the, mo the biggest part of Drupal world, your staff will get the most from it does not happen Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. This is the biggest part, okay? The Friday. Um, it's a place where people will get to do something they probably won't have done before. Be that because it's the first time getting involved in a sprint, it's the second time when they actually might even do something useful, or it's their third time when they come along and they say, hey, I've done this before, I'll mentor. Yeah? And we will run them through what we want them to do. Yeah? We, they don't just jump in, we do a little bit. And they will walk away feeling, I've done something pretty epic. I think it was a pretty amazing time, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, they will walk away with more contacts, they will walk away having learned a few of those skills or improved or practiced some of those skills I was talking about earlier. Yeah? They will have made connections sideways as well between their other peers in the, in, in the mentor group. It's a big deal. But how do we take that forward? Okay? How, I think the minimum I want you to walk away with today is thinking, if I'm sending staff to DrupalCon, I definitely want them to go on Friday. If that's the minimum everyone does here today, I've succeeded. But how can we make it better? How can we take it further? Okay. Uh, how, as a Drupal company, can you help? Because you're getting a lot back from it. If you're getting your staff to, to get involved in mentoring, yeah, uh, you're getting something from that. You're definitely getting something from that because they're growing as people. So if you take your non-senior people and they're getting involved in Drupal mentoring, yeah, you're making them into people that you're going to have as your senior staff in a year or two's time. Okay? You're gaining. That's a hell of a lot of recruitment agency money that you've just saved. 
okay? I don't know all the answers. This is the first time I've done this. I don't know what happens next. But I do know... I do know... We keep saying, come for the coast, stay for the community. Okay? I do know that. And it matters. We now have the code. We have to play. It's fabulous. Okay. <laughs> it's nearly fabulous. But we're getting, we're getting pretty good with it. It's really... It, it's, you've been seeing it this weekend. You know it's good. I think... It's time we start spending a bit more time on that. And thinking about the people. Because Drupal isn't just the code. Okay? It is how you lot work together. Because nobody, nobody in this building today knows all of Drupal. Okay, Daniel, mine. Uh, <laughs> 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 but, yeah, no, no one can know everything there is to know about everything. Okay? You need to interact. You need other people. You need your senior staff. You need your junior staff. You need people that are going to take things on. People that are going to bring that inspiration, that innovation, that leadership into your company. And we need to grow them now. Okay? That's the next bit. Because Drupal is more than just the code. And I'm just going to shout out an idea now because it's the only thing that kind of comes to mind is maybe something that we need to start thinking about are camps that... Con we've got camps out there now. Camps that concentrate on code. We've got camps that concentrate on business things. I think it's time we can maybe we start thinking about activities, not necessarily camps. I just put mental camp up there as an example. Uh, and I've got no more planning than that, by the way, so don't start thinking I'm going to announce the dates. Um, I think we need to start thinking about what it is and how we start to grow the people within Drupal. Because that's something that we can do as a community that is very hard for individual companies to do on their own. Yeah? We all need it. We're, every single company has the same needs. Yeah? Um, but for one company of, say, a dozen or 20 or 30 people, that's really hard. That's really, really, really hard. So let's do it together. Let's start thinking about how we... Um, work together to help start making those leadership bits and pieces uh, that help grow staff. Yeah? But rather than just trying to do it on our own, let's talk about it together and take it from there. And I think that's something that we can start now. Okay? Uh, largely, I'm a bit fast, aren't I? Uh, largely, that's all I was going to say. Uh, I wanted to give a lot of time at the end, uh, at the end for questions. No, actually, no. Discussion, largely disguised as questions, because I'm not going to answer anything. But I will take answers from the from the floor as well instead, because I can't give you answers. I don't know the answers. I know this is something that I care about, but I don't know what the answers are yet. Okay, rather than saying something silly like mentor camp. Uh, so, that's all I'm going to say. So is any, I know I've just kind of blown you something and just shown you no code or anything like that. Um, it literally is a case of something that I wanted to say. Definitely, do not forget, Friday matters at DrupalCon. Okay? Getting your staff there, giving them the opportunity to grow, encouraging them to go to the Friday. Do you know what? I don't care if you even don't go on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Go to the Friday, because it's free. Mm. I didn't say that. Uh, 
Friday sprints are free. Did you not know that? Uh, <laughs> I know someone's going to kill me. Uh, <laughs> not if they're <laughs> But no, it's a big deal. Um, so, get them to Friday. I would love, I'll, I'll tweet about this afterwards and try and figure out something if anybody wants to get involved in trying to work out how we can get some leadership stuff together. Um, and I know the person who wrote all that stuff for NAP um, has actually just gone turned into a consultant doing it for himself so as a business, so I'm sure I can talk him into helping us. Um, but I want to start that conversation now. And um, are there any questions? Oh, yes. Good, thank you. I'm really inspired by what you said. Oh, good. Um, I, I, I have a company. Yeah. And our biggest challenge is actually getting people to engage with this. You know, they code and they do that kind of stuff. But the biggest barrier is the community process. And feeling confident with engaging with the community process. And so when you say uh, mentor can, it's not really a silly idea at all. I think it's absolutely mm. fantastic. And when you say um, let's start now, I think well, let's start right now and put something like that together. Because, because I, I, I've got people who I want to put on it, put myself on it, but I, I myself have experienced uh, friction with engaging with the community process, and lots of forced starts. And it's yeah. about kind of hooking up with mentors and dealing with confidence issues and stuff like that, and I, I really want to do it. Yeah, well, that's, that's great to hear. And I, I think that I completely recognize what you're saying about it lots of false starts. I think that um, looking back at my own contribution journey, shall we call it, um, I, I had a couple of false starts where I just couldn't work out what was going on. It was, it was all weird. And it was because I went to Front End United in Copenhagen. Was that three years ago? Something like that. Four. Four. God. Thanks. I really feel old. <laughs> um, and there, there was actually a lot of things that went wrong in the camp. And Martin was in charge. Come on. Uh, <laughs> but it, it kind of held together in a really kind of really amazing way. And what we ended up doing was um, there was this time when. Literally, there was about 20 of us in a room on a big, long table. And all we did for a whole day was sprint. But because I was sat in between... Lowry was down here. I was sat between Christina and... Christina's from Spain. I can't remember who... It might have been. No, Lowry was down the end. I can't remember who was to my right. But I was sat there. And these are people I looked up to. Yeah? These are people I really looked up to. And how they treated me that day, with respect and actually encouraging and belief, belief in me. Yeah? Even though I was basically an idiot with Drip Lay. Um, mattered. And it totally transformed my confidence. That worked. So, fits and starts are okay. It's just creating that Nature, nurtured environment to get started. And to do that, we need to make sure that people are capable of doing the nurturing. And that's why I'm thinking something where we spend time working with mentors and make the mentors have the skills they need to do that. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's start. I think a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else, anything? Can I? Oh? <laughs> I mean, it's a really interesting uh, topic. Yeah. Uh, personally, I, I I always believed and still believe on training your own pair instead of going anywhere and finding them, like with the recruiter and pair. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because when you train someone to be your, that's what I define, to be your pair, not to be a leadership, because what we want to create is a community, it's not like a, like a pillar. So yeah. I love the thing of training. And coming back to your, to your point and, and to having the mental company, whatever it is, if, if you see the numbers of a conference, like a group of conference, this one, we had um, 35 people talking 
and 465 just listed. There is no interaction at all. The only interaction you have is on the corridors and the spin room, which is normally empty, just on the side days. So, in my, this is my opinion, okay? There's no community in the conference. Never, unless you go to the spin room or you don't attend any of the, any of the, of the, of the sessions. Because, apart from Rachel, the six sheet is with this bit of time or interaction. You don't have it. And it's, I, I, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I, for the work uh, on Dublin, uh, I was there and I thought, why don't we have the sprint, which is really important, in the middle of the conference? Yeah, I have said that it's before. Yeah. On <laughs> and maybe we stop on the afternoon with the whole man. Then the next day, we have 40 rooms of people coding, or mentoring, or just chatting about the next step. Okay, I want to learn, go to this room, they are teaching something, so we do more workshop in the middle of the conference instead of that. Yeah, it's because the companies won't pay for that. I know. This is why... Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, this is the problem is that, like, us is like this, this is training. So any HR person under the sun will understand this is training and come off the training budget. You can tick the little sheet, they're all happy, the final spots are happy. As soon as you put code and stuff like that in, ooh, that's out of the box, and the HR and the clients not known to be out of the box. Yeah. So that's why they all have the same format. That's why all conferences fit no, out of the box. I, I, I do agree, but we, 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 uh, if, if we put that thread as it's been saying, is because when you do something pairing with someone else, you learn much more. So I'm sure. That and that is, a, that is actually a two way thing as well. So yeah, the yeah, mentor yeah. and the mentee both learn. Yeah. And that's why. That's why, particularly for that type of scenario that you're, dis you're discussing, it very much is how we sell yeah. Yeah. the mentoring. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. and that's, yeah. that's almost exactly what I'm trying to say, yeah. is, is how we uh, sell mentoring. Is it's not about, it's not about, um, uh, might as well. Uh, <laughs> Hey, look, you know, when you double <laughs> <when you're laughs> uh, it's not about uh, you as a company giving something to Drupal. It's not. It's about Drupal giving something to you. And it's explaining that to the accountants. And what we don't do at the moment is do that well enough. Uh, as, as a community, I'm not saying the, the companies are doing it wrong. What we should be saying is, look, we're doing your training. Yeah? Yeah. When people are coming to contribution, we're doing your training. Sorry. I think the, the good thing about Drupal community, well, first of all, actually the fact that we have the sprints and have the mentoring is something that's quite already quite specific for Drupal. And I think that we have so many camps that are organized by different people in different ways is the point to try this out. Because the Drupal cons are kind of so much top down, organized by the Drupal Association who needs it as a fundraising um, event. So I think trying to change the work and how it works is not a place to start, but it's yeah. trying to yeah. try out the different, um, the different camps. And one thing I think that is also necessary is, um, because you spend a lot of time preparing for a sprint and a mentoring sprint as well, and finding issues for people to work on. And quite often there's a lack of the kind of small issues that you can actually do in a day just to understand how the issue queue works, um, that you should say in a comment that you're working on something, and it needs lots of them small issues. So I think it's also down to lots of people to make sure that when there is a sprint coming up, to make sure that they don't say, ah, oh, I can fix that one up time, then I never have time. But that you make an issue to say, this help text needs changing, or there's a typing error there. I mean, that's an issue somebody can do. As simple as it sounds, but it means somebody leaves with the, having figured out how to do an issue, fixed it, and get it committed. Always leave with success. And the first time yeah. when you see yourself in a commit message, it's just oh. nice. And I tell you what, see, seeing your name in a commit message for the first time is nothing compared to seeing somebody you have mentored's name in a commit message. Actually, mine's here. <laughs> uh, where was it? Was that Amsterdam? Yeah. Because uh, I couldn't stay till the end, could I? And I heard that yours had got yeah. committed. But I was yeah. in tears. <laughs> it was weird. It was really bad. <laughs> I was actually sat there crying when I found out. Uh, <laughs> when I, when I uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I think we should start from the current. When I, when I talked with uh, Alex and I said, um, I used to do, uh, I'm from Italy, we used to do hack meetings in Italy every year. And it's a big community of people defining the same hackers on anything. It's, it's not IT, it can be, it can be garden, it can be anything, it can be your house from scratch, just, just curiosity. And uh, for each of the meetings, we have a platform where we can chat. Sometimes it's I, uh, IRC channel, sometimes it's a chat, sometimes it's just yeah. a board, you go there, you write a name, and then I'll be here. But it's a little balls. Uh, but having a platform where we can communicate, it's a, it's a start. It's a we, we do have on IRC the Drupal mentoring um, room? channel. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't have much I know about IRC. Uh, <laughs> which is for mentors to talk with each other, which is maybe a start towards this. What I want to do is take that much further and give mentors the chance to grow as mentors, uh, because that also has the added bonus that, that we're helping our companies, because that, that's what your company is full of. It's full of mentors. Yeah? Uh, well, it should be. Okay. Anything else? Um... Yeah, just, just a question of interest really, is we yeah. have any plan, if you're ready to have anything, you've got just sort of statistics on how many people, like the ratio of how many people go to a Drupal camp compared to the ratio of people actually attend a sprint, just to kind of put, put it to a bit of it does, it does vary does it? a lot. Yeah. Uh, you tend to get... DrupalCon has more than you might think. <clears throat> more than you might think people sprinting. It, the rooms, particularly on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they are busy. I cannot remember off the top of my head now what the numbers are. We do, we do have numbers, uh, and they'll be taking more numbers in Baltimore. Uh, one thing to bear in mind in Vienna is there won't be sprinting at the weekends this year. Well, the, the DA won't be providing room for sprinting at the weekends. Uh, so the sprinting will be in a much more sort of concentrated format, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then the core mentor, mentor sprint on Friday. Uh, so things are changing around quite a lot. Quite a lot has changed about Vienna, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Just sort of thinking about today, obviously I've walked past the sprinting room and a few times I've never really been enticed to go in there. I just wondered if there's something we can do just to stick outside the door and go, all right, this is what's expected of you, it'll take this much time, and yeah. just really market it a bit more. I, I think for the last couple of years in London, uh, myself and Emma have been kind of dragging people in there a little bit. Right. Uh, <laughs> not, not, yeah, literally on occasion. Uh, neither of us have been able to do that this week. I've been doing this, and I'm not here tomorrow, so I've actually stayed, because I'm busy, yeah. just in case anybody hasn't noticed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, then, so the, everybody who's in there is, is probably self-starting for a better description on the sprint. Maybe we should make an effort to a mentored setup for next year. That would be a great thing no, to do. Thinking, especially yeah. for new Maybe you'd like to volunteer. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was just going to agree, actually. Like, you know, that, that, that really, down to sort of simple marketing, if you look at the, the, the Drupal Camp website, it's abundantly clear how you attend one of these sessions. It's considerably less clear. Yeah. How you attend the I think I think that um, the sprints in London haven't really been at the highest level of uh, thing for the last couple of years. To be honest, uh, we had trouble finding the room last year. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even I did. <laughs> but yeah, um, so it, it's kind of one of those. It's it's different camps want to work in different ways. You. I'm not on the camp organising committee, so I can't comment further. Really. Uh, but I think that it's something that, if I was organising the camp, I would find it very important. Yeah. Well, it depends, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the wind-up message. So uh, <laughs> thanks very much. I hope I, I, I hope not to have told you everything, but to make things start working in your minds. Yeah. I would love. To hear your thoughts, um, I'll tweet about this. I'm sure it'll be on the thing. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if it's something that, as a business um, 
is interesting to actually take this further and start thinking about how we can do something that benefits everyone and start thinking about how we can do proper training of mentors, training of people yeah, in the community rather than just within companies. I think there's something in it, I really do. That's something that matters to me. Thanks very much. Did I make? Shall we unlock the doors? No. <laughs> <laughs>